What on earth is Intel Foundry Services? That means they're going to try to <laughs> compete with TSMC and um, <laughs> and Samsung. <laughs> Oh, Intel. So Pat Gelsinger, the brand new CEO, which I covered in the video that you're seeing in iCards right now, wherever the iCards are, has been hard at work announcing new multi-billion plans to help take Intel kicking and screaming into the future. They announced that they are increasing their own fab capacity, which means that we're able to pump out more CPUs and more advanced CPUs. And as part of this initiative, they announced Intel Foundry Services, or basically their own answer to players like TSMC or Samsung, where other companies like, say, AMD could just ask them to produce the chips for them. Now, that's well and good, even though I have a very hard time seeing how competitive they could be against someone like TSMC, who's like at the top of the game right now. But some more competition in the space is always better and hopefully will just result in a reduction in prices for the final consumers, aka us. However, that doesn't stop Intel from pulling a classic Intel move and shooting themselves in the foot with this. Because before they fully even announce Intel Foundry Services, they also announced that they are in talks to also start producing some of the CPUs over at TSMC's factories. Even though TSMC would be their competition when Intel Foundry Services goes ahead. Intel what? That's like asking someone to sharpen your axe just so you could kill them with it. Or at least try to and fail miserably because it is still Intel we're talking about here. And then actually the person about to get killed by the Alex simply just turns away and makes enough her several billion dollars. I have no idea what Intel was planning here. So they asked for capacity at TSMC's plants, but then they announced their own competitor TSMC. And TSMC rightfully made Intel the lowest possible priority because they're about to be competing soon. Intel. Thankfully, Intel CPUs right now aren't seeing huge shortages because, well, not many people are buying them and also they're being produced still on 14 nanometer, which is much, much easier to make nowadays with a lot of spare capacity for 14 nanometer. But one thing that Intel has been struggling with is producing in-house 12, 10 or even 7 nanometer CPUs. That is where TSMC could have come in helpful, but I highly doubt they'll want to do any business with Intel after pulling such a move. But what do you think of all of this? As always, let me know down in the comments below. And while you're here, maybe check out my Patreon because even one dollar a month goes a long way in having my channel and also allows me to make way better videos on with videos on way more interesting topics. Additionally, I have some pretty huge purchases in mind for the channel. Purchases that would literally drive me bankrupt and even with my kind of policy of putting all the money I have into the channel, it will still take quite a bit for me to save up for these purchases, but they are going to make the quality of my videos just skyrocket and they're going to make the whole channel so much nicer for all of you watching. So if you do want to help out and help me just invest in making better videos for you guys, then definitely check out my Patreon. It helps a lot, even $1 a month. I'd also love to find my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs, and Wolfie. Thank you guys so, so much. Your support truly goes a long way. Down in the video description below, you're also going to find our Discord server, our Amazon Associates links, which is definitely another good way to support us monetarily, plus our social media links. And that's what it's. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.